book and not copy. I don't understand ever know at the University of uh, Khartoum. I don't have evacuation pro uh, project. Evacuation as yes. you see in Nigeria and see ever know. I don't know if I will blue in the Kabul. What has the Iowa been doing? Why by the motor in Kepuala one day? I saw a little here. Okay. <laughs> Eba no aka na news ana aga na ebuna gaaye na ebuna gaaye aya na ba ekwe aya na ba ekwe ka osa ko eba bi ka na akpo ndi di ka to eje nu kpo ha ndi igbo ama ru na enyele mmada aka all right wonderful people all right wonderful people i hope every one of you listening to this report i hope every one of you understand what is playing in this video that we just finished watching. You know, I want to tell my people something. I want to say this here. And I know some of you people will come against me, begin to ask me, why should I say something like this? You see this thing that is happening to our people. I don't just like it. I love it. You see all these things that is happening to our people. I love it. Because our people don't want to learn. Our people don't want to face the reality. Our people up to date, they never understand that Nigeria hate them with passion. They don't understand that this country they are calling every single day, this contraption called Daminibu Zoo Nigeria, don't want good for them. They will keep on forcing themselves to be part of Nigeria. The reporter is there <laughs> waiting for Nigeria to come and evacuate them. Now can you see it playing Koro Koro? There is no how you can ever disagree in what I'm saying. You can see their bags. You can see their luggages. They have left them. They have come. They have came to pick their own people. But our own people are there. It's good at this thing that is happening to them. Yesterday they were destroying the buildings, the mansions of our people. In Lagos. You know, and they are crying. And we have been saying this. From day one, telling our people to return back to their home, telling our people to, to depend on themselves, telling our people to stop depending on people that they hate them with passion. We have been saying this. That is the reason why Mazen Namdekano is still today in DSS dungeon upon say so called competent court have discharged him and acquitted him. They are still holding him. You see, all this, our brothers. <clears throat> They have abandoned Mazen Namdekan. As you people abandon a man that sent by Chuko Kikambiama, this is how Chuko Kikambiama will abandon you people. Because some of our people don't want to learn. They don't want to learn at all. They keep on circling the, I mean, the idiocy in them. Not for them to understand they are in a mess. To come together and let us fight for common our common goal. And what is that? To restore Biafra. So that all these shenanigans will stop. But our people who won't, won't listen. You will tell them to come and join IPOB. They will tell you, this IPOB is safe. This Biafran people safe. And Igbo man will still be telling you, this Biafran safe. This Igbo people safe. You see what they are doing to you people. When they discharge Mazen Namdekan in that so-called competent, in that contraption called Damine Buzo, all of you abandoned him. All of you abandoned him. Follow Pitobi. Now, a mad piece of Biafran people are now in a jail, in a, in a DSS dungeon. And who do you think is going to speak for you people? You are calling Atweze Nubo. Atweze that is a Fulani boy boy. Atweze have came once last year, if I'm not mistaken, telling you without the Fulani that he can be where he is today. And you are calling Atweze to come and help you. You, you are calling a peace that will tell you that diversity is our strength. That is why I always tell you people, anytime somebody ever say diversity, never tell you strength. Use two by two, but why is I'm the one that telling you, 
He don't want good for you. He wants you to remain as a slave till thy kingdom come. Let me introduce myself before I, will, I have something more to tell my people. All right, wonderful people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world, you are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okuchukano. Here I am. I always set the record straight. Consistency is the key. Regardless of your position, your wealth, or your qualification, who cares? I don't care. I just need your common sense, ability to reason. Then you begin to understand what I'm telling you. That this country called Damine Buzu hates with passion. That is why you don't have to involve yourself. Now they have traveled to Sudan. They have picked their own people. Now they left you, Igbo man, to die in Sudan. Are you, see, you see, whenever we are telling you people that these people are not part of you, you are not the same people, you don't have the same way of life, you don't have the same culture, you don't have the same food, you don't have the same ideology. Some of you don't understand. You will say, eh, eh, come, let us come together. Let us build it. Let us come together. Let us, let us make it work. How can you make something that Chukwu Kikabiyama did not put together? How can you make it work? That is why I'm telling you people, there is no how Chukwu Kikabiyama will bless Nigeria. Because he did not put it together. Nigeria is just a man-made. Nigeria was formed as a thread by butter. You know, some of you don't go deeply and understand the history. How they be able to amalgamate that contraption together. It's a, just a trade by. It's a business center. That is what Nigeria is. That is why you see today everything is all about national cake. Who will be there? Who will rule you? My own people, your own people, because we are not one. I keep on telling people this. That is the root. That is the key point. That every time you are waking up and you are going back to sleep, always put that in, in your mind that we are not one people. That is why they will keep on treating you that way. Now you see our people with their luggages. You see our people with their properties. They are outside on the street. And the Nigerian people have came and picked those people that they are Nigerian. Now you understand. They have picked their own people. You heard it from the reporter. You heard it from a direct from Igbo man. Telling you they have came and picked their own people and rejected them. And now they have rejected you. And you yourself are rejecting yourself. Believe you me, this is the highest sin. You are committing highest sin to yourself. There is adage in our place said, Onya jurajwa da ajo your own is gone. Now you understand how they are maltreating our people. <laughs> you see, they have went to Lagos and destroyed the properties of our, our brothers and sisters, mansions in Lagos. Some of our people are still there telling you he never get to them. But I'm promising you people that it will come to every one of you, one after the other. It will come to you all one after the other. You see, as fast as you open your eyes, as far as you open your eyes, the better for all of us. Then we begin to, you know, you know, to, to know what we can do to survive. We are fighting for survival. We hate nobody, but we are just trying to let our people understand the mess that we are into. Nigeria is not for you. Nigeria is not for you. Nigeria can never be for you. Being you in Nigeria, you will remain a slave. Being you in Nigeria, they will keep on rejecting you things. And they will keep on using your mineral resources to, I mean, to, to use it to build their own place. And they will keep on holding you down. They will keep on holding you down. Whenever you cry, they will knock on your head, tell you to stop crying. This is the pattern of this contraption. You know, they will beat you at the same time. They will tell you, don't cry. <laughs> and when you cry, it will be worse for you. That is exactly what is playing today. I love all this thing that is happening. Our people abandoned Mazen Namdekan, isn't it? They abandoned him. They abandoned him. Telling you that uh, there is a way we are going to do it. Uh, if Obi come, uh, Obi is going to make magic overnight. If Obi enter there, Obi is going to do this. Obi is going to do that like uh, Obi is the lawmakers. Like Obi is the lawmaker of Nigeria. He don't know that they have lawmakers. Those people that will stand, that whatever will be do, they will just tell you, my friend, go. They will impeach him. Just overnight, they will impeach him. 
This is what I bring to you people today to see how Nigeria hates you people with passion. Ona ajuru ada ajo onwe. Ona obu na ajuru ajo ada ajo onwe. Igbo people begin to learn. Come together. Let us build. Let us be in one accord. Let us fight for this common goal to restore Biafra. When we restore Biafra, the rest of the world is going to respect you. When we restore Biafra, when such issue happens, we are going to come for the rescue of our people. And the world is going to take care of you people. They are not going to kill you like a fowl. That is exactly what is happening today. They have rejected you people in Sudan. Now he is crying for the Igbos, people that are, are rich people in Igbo to come and help them. But the, the country is supposed to help them. And the country have came to carry their own people. <laughs> you see, this is not laughable. But, you know, when I'm saying all these things, I'm feeling pain. But sometimes people think that this love that I'm laughing is, I, 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 I love it. No, it's all about pain. That is painful of my heart. I'm feeling pains always. So don't think that whenever I'm laughing, don't think that it's, it's in my heart. It's just the stupidity of our people that I'm laughing at. Because if our people have risen and understand that they have rejected them, and whosoever they rejected can reject himself, is supposed to find a safer landing for yourself and your own people. That is why we're here. I salute you all. Circulate this video. Let the world see what we are passing through in that contraption called Damini Buzu. Because we are Biafra's. Good day, and remain blessed.